So I just reprinted this Dewalt battery holder. Um, I had modified the file some because I wasn't getting exactly what I wanted. Um, so one thing with this, what I just printed here, so the screw, the normal drywall screw, which typically everyone's gonna have, they may want to use these. And you know, a ton of screws are tapered. Um, so I changed the screw hole and put a taper in it. Um, so that should fit a lot better there. And also these holes line up with the battery pins there. Um, so if you wanted to make some terminals and jumper wires and power anything off of this, um, you could just slide them in there. So I modified that as well. This is, need to cool down a little. Um, this is my first print with the Cheap Inland PLA Plus. Um, and I got it at max temp. And I was hitting max um, flow at his standard Dragon nozzle. So I can't even get it off. Alright, I got it off the print bed once it cooled down. Pretty good print there. You can see it's a little dark here. I guess it took a while to fully clean. Switching from black to yellow, you can notice the color difference there a little bit. We got our screw holes nice and good now. Tapered hole. A little bit of string in there on all the prints because there's no supports. Um, but it seems perfectly usable. And I widened these holes there for the terminal. So they line up right there. Um, need to make one more revision to go in a little further. Um, but that will work. And then it's just a little tight on here. Uh, it's my first, my other one I printed ABS. Um, so I think I'm just going to scale it up um, a tiny bit. And then it should be good. But this stuff prints pretty nice too.